welcome back to what for well being um today i'm just going to show you how to how i'd sketch um an apple i mean apples something that you probably have lying around your house in a fruit bowl or in the fridge or something so it's quite an easy object to um obtain and uh, maybe start practicing your drawing with so first of all i'm just going to look at the the shape of the apple not apple apples aren't always perfectly shaped um so obviously with your artistic license, if you don't like the shape of the apple, you could change it a bit if you wanted to. Um, make it a bit more, um, like this one's quite an odd shaped apple. I might make it more plumper around the top to give it that kind of heart shape sort of um, image. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm just gonna lightly sketch the shape of the apple using a 3B pencil <coughs> just because that's quite easy to rub out and doesn't mark the page too much so I'm just doing little sketches to get the shape of my apple obviously you're looking at it downwards I'm looking at it sort of slightly sideways so it will be a little different to what you can see now I'm looking at the stalk so the temptation for you know if you're just drawing without even observing something is to put the stalk up here <coughs> which obviously is not quite right so in this apple the, st the stalk is actually in about here so if I just put a little stalk there and now I'm just going to put a little curve there because that's kind of Kind of in a recess so already you can it's sort of by putting that there it's given a little bit of three dimension now if you look carefully at your um apple as well you'll see um almost like some if you can imagine some um almost some grid lines coming down and around to give your apple some shape so if you follow one of those imaginary imaginary sort of lines like the contour lines it sort of comes up from the middle and it comes round and then it kind of comes down and then it comes back up to where the core is inside the apple but you can't see that so if you just do do yourself some guidelines from the middle going round and down you're going with the other side so up round and down you see it kind of gives you that impression of the the stalk being in like a divot into the apple it's actually coming out of the apple rather than being plopped on the top so when you go around the back of the apple, just imagine those contour lines going up and behind this time. And these front ones, you get a bit of foreshortening here, so you won't get so much of a curve, but then you would still get that roundness here, like this. Okay. So it almost looks like segments, doesn't it? But by doing that, you've kind of given yourself um, a bit of um, guideline as to the roundness and where to perhaps put the shading. So first part of the shading I'm going to do, I'm still using the 3B pencil. I'm just going to go in with the darkest bit, which is the stalk. And inside the apple is quite dark as well, so I'm just going to... Follow those contour lines with my pencil. And just do little strokes going in the same direction as the contour lines, just to give a bit of definition. And the same with these. So a little bit of, not so dark, because you're looking at the front of the apple now. 
where you're in that divot you can then darken that area maybe use your finger just to blend it a little okay so you can already see there's a little bit of three dimension coming along there <clears throat> So these lines, you don't necessarily have to keep them. They're just sort of giving you some guidance as to where, um, where your shading is going to be. So I'm just going to bro break them up a bit, those lines, so they don't look like lines. But I can still use them as, as guidelines. So this time I'm going to come in from the bottom. And I'm just going to shade upwards. I'm still going in, in line with those contours. I'm concentrating where the light's hitting the apple. So it's kind of hitting the apple at the top around this kind of ringed bit area. So I'm just going to just carefully shade up until there. I'm using the side of my pencil to get a, quite a flat shaded area. And the same with this bit here. So I'm just going to go where the red part of the apple is. I'm just going to put a bit of shading at the back. Still keeping that sort of rounded area. And I'm still doing my pencil lines in line with the apple contour. using my finger to blend the pencil a bit. And you can use your rubber to take out some of the smudging just to give a bit of more highlighting. So try and avoid getting a very dark sort of line on the outside of it because you don't want to look like it's drawn round and just very lightly blend in these darker shaded areas like the bottom for example and also I just want to put um, a bit of a shadow underneath so it looks like it's sitting on a table rather than levitating
a few of the markings that my particular apple has got quite a lot of sort of dots and lines and things on. A little bit of a bruise on my one as well, so I'll just put a little bit of a dink there. And then any areas you want to tidy up, you can just use the rubber. So that's it for now. So hopefully that was useful, and hopefully you'll be able to draw your own apple. Thank you for watching. Bye.